Let's keep this whiskey train rolling. My name is Jenna Ellenwood and welcome to Cocktails with Jenna. I heard we were all in the mood for a perfect Manhattan. And uh, you know, right now nothing's perfect, but we can make what is in our glass pretty damn tasty. So, this is my mixing glass. If you don't have one of these at home, you could use your mason jar. And there are measurements right on the side of this, which I'm gonna show you how to use. So you're gonna start with Angostura bitters. I'm gonna do two dashes right into my mixing glass. And then to make a perfect Manhattan, you need both sweet and dry vermouth. So it's a split of the two. I'm gonna do a half ounce of Dolan Dry. And a half ounce of Carpano Antica. So if you don't have jiggers at home, you could do uh, one tablespoon of each. It's the same as half an ounce. And then I'm gonna do two ounces of Woodford bourbon. I love that sound. Right on in there. Now, if you don't have jiggers, once again, you could use this on the side. There is a line for two ounces. And then you could use your tablespoon and do one tablespoon of both your sweet and dry vermouth. Got my glass chilling with my ice cubes. And these are just regular ice cubes out of my ice cube tray. And my bar spoon. If you don't have a bar spoon, you can use whatever spoon works for you. You can use a butter knife, you can use a chopstick. They all work. I'm gonna count to about 40 with this. What we're looking for is about three quarters of an ounce of dilution right on in there. And while I had my ice um, sitting off to the side, I had my glass resting in it so I could go ahead and chill it. I'm gonna give that one second. This is my wide peeler. If you don't have a wide peeler at home, you could use a vegetable peeler. So this is really important. Make sure you do this step before you start drinking and make sure the fruit is dry. I get a nice twist of lemon off of here. And then, because we want to make it swanye, even though we're drinking at home, we take my bar knife and take the sides right off. Give myself a nice little angle. Call it manicuring the twist. And then strain my Manhattan right into my Nick and Nora glass. Take my twist, grasp the sides of it, and express it right over the top with the outside facing up. Take perfect Manhattan. Sun's coming up, time to go to bed. All the whiskey did is put a hurting in my head. The night is so cold, staying out alone. Nobody waiting for me when I get home. In a man's life, sometimes you gotta choose.